What if I told you I had the answer? No, seriously. I'm serious. It might not be the answer that you're looking for, but I do have the answer. Today we will be discussing which one is definitively better than the other. Mouse and keyboard or controller. I will first be going over pros and cons of the mouse and keyboard, then we will be doing the pros and cons of controller. I will be talking a lot about hardware in this video, so if you have any tips or tricks on how to optimize your hardware, if you have any tips and tricks on which hardware to get, because I will be going over mice and keyboard in this video, please feel free to leave down in the comments section below. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. Mouse and keyboard. What are the pros of this? Well, for starters, accuracy. Mice have a lot more space to work with, and they are usually a lot more accurate than a fucking analog stick. Obviously, no fucking shit. I don't think you've ever had problems browsing the web, have you? Didn't think so. Another pro, mouse and keyboard is usually faster in response time. Uh, point proven, Razer made these crazy ass opto mechanical switches that use lasers to cut the laser. I, I, it, it's hard to explain. Just know they are the fastest switches out there for mouse and keyboard, and they also provide a much faster response time than a controller. Mice are the same way too. They're a hell of a lot faster than controllers. Their switches are quicker, the response times are quicker, and if you're on console on controller, just know PCs are infinitely faster. Another pro to mouse and keyboard is that the, most of the keys are usually pretty easy to access. You never actually see yourself having to take your hand or your finger off of anything to put it on anything else. What I mean by that is on controller, as an example, you have to take your thumb off of your look thumbstick to press any of your ABXY buttons, which are also very important buttons to playing any video game ever. You don't have to do that with mouse and keyboard, you can just keep your hand on your mouse, keep your hand on WASD, whatever the fuck you use, and you're good. But there are cons to mouse and keyboard, and I see you writing that fucking comment. Shut the fuck up. There are cons. I, I don't want- if I see one toxic ass comment about mouse and keyboard or controller, I'll talk shit to you, and then I'll remove it. No shit talking in this video, I want a good, clean discussion between the two inputs. That is it. A kind of mouse and keyboard is the amount of fucking space it consumes. My mouse pad takes up one third of my desk, and my keyboard takes up the other two thirds of my desk. Space consumption with mouse and keyboard is horrendous. Sorry. Another kind of mouse and keyboard is the fact that usually they're pretty, pretty high priced. If you're smart about it, there are an infinite amount of mice and keyboards out there that you can buy for a range of different prices at a range of different qualities. If you have a suggestion for a good mouse and keyboard, leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to be the ultimate gamer, I'd get a, the Razer Basilisk Ultimate and the- uh... My opinion on this matter has changed within the last, uh, two hours. If you want to be the ultimate gamer, you should get the SteelSeries Apex Pro and the Swift Point Z mouse. The keyboard literally has way too many features to mention, and the mouse literally has pressure-sensitive clicks, and you can customize the pressure, so it's like having a throttle for mouse and keyboard. If you have any other suggestions for hardware, leave them down in the comments. Another kind of mouse and keyboard, this the biggest one, is movement. Uh, people don't realize it, but movement on mouse and keyboard is so fucking horrendous it actually makes me want to cry, and it's actually the main reason I didn't switch from controller to mouse and keyboard. Movement on mouse and keyboard is very straightforward, but it's very, 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 very inefficient. Not only do you use four fucking buttons to move, you use three fingers, and you can only move in eight separate directions. Compare that to this, where you have one thing, yep, you have to have one finger, one button, 360 degree movement. That is infinitely more fucking, I, 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 my brain's dying. I'm dying inside because of this. That, I mean, that's just the main reason I didn't switch mouse and keyboard fully. I am a hybrid player at the moment. You'll catch me playing Warzone or Fortnite on both inputs all the time. I actually do like both of them, but it's fucking annoying trying to move with mouse and keyboard. It makes me actually want to die. But let's move on to the controllers though. I'm sick and tired of talking about keys and Razer products. I'll still be talking about Razer products, but, you know, it won't be as gay. So, controller, what's, what, 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 what's the cons? Or what's the pros with these? Are there pros to controllers? Yes. Controllers are compact. You have everything in both your hands. It's very, very little. All your buttons are right there at your fingertips, but granted, there aren't enough buttons on stock controllers, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, another thing that's a pro with controller is movement, obviously. You guys know why, I'm not even going to continue talking about that. And another one, it's throttle. Uh, when you're playing car games, car games, boat games, plane games, GTA, any third person shooter game with cars or vehicles, period, play with fucking controller. I mean, third person games is like sandbox games, like GTA, not like Battle Royale third person games. I mean, you guys know what I fucking mean, shut the fuck up. Constant controller. Oh, the list never ends! The fact that you have to take your thumb off your thumbstick to press your ABXY buttons, your aim is with a fucking 
thumbstick. There's not enough buttons on stock controllers. You have to get a tournament controller to be able to actually play fucking decent. I mean, PS4 controllers are okay with button placement, but... Stock controllers suck ass at button placement, so it really just feels like there's not enough buttons. The response time of controllers when they're wireless, or even sometimes wired, is fucking ass. If you actually play tournament or competitive games, WIRED CONNECTION PLEASE! I don't care if you're playing Battlefront or a nice game of GTA or nice little game of Resident Evil. You, you, do wireless with those, doesn't matter. But if you're playing a fucking tournament, WIRE YOUR SHIT, PLEASE! I see so many people saying that they want a wireless experience with a tournament controller. What the? You're retarded! You know how slow wireless is? Especially with fucking controllers. And it's especially with controllers on console. If you play on a fucking console, why are your shit if you're playing Fortnite? Because you, you're gonna die. You're gonna die terribly. You're gonna get your walls taken, you're gonna get fucked on, and you're gonna cry about it. And guess what? It's all your fucking fault. Now which one is better? Mouse and keyboard or controller? Because we've gone over all the pros and the cons, and it seems like they kind of cancel each other out. And... Yeah, that's actually the truth. They do cancel each other out. But here, wait a minute. I have something better. Better than mouse and keyboard or controller. And I'll be talking about it here in a second. But the fact of the matter is, after a game's been out for so long, and they keep continue to push out updates with, oh, here's more settings for controller players since you guys are fucking handicapped. More and more and more and more and more and more and more, and more options. With, they become more and more complicated. So all the casual players will leave and all the poor players will stay. More and more and more and more and more, and more options. Guess what? Guess what happens at that point? Controller players become as good as mouse and keyboard players do. That's what Fortnite did. At first, controller was, was so bad. Do you know how bad it is editing with the B button? You have to do this shit. Press B. Trigger. Select your fucking tiles. Press B again. That's fucking horrible. It took four seasons to get custom binds, and then when they released custom binds, you couldn't fucking change your edit button. I'm not even gonna go into that. It pissed me off so much. But yeah, the fact of the matter is... After a game's been out for so long, controller players start to get good and realize how they can use their hardware to their advantage since they're always at a disadvantage against mouse and keyboard players in terms of response time and how their hardware performs. When controller players start to figure out how to actually utilize their hardware properly, they become as good as mouse and keyboard players. And don't- if you're gonna comment something about how controller players can never be as good as mouse and keyboard players, I'm going to roast the fucking shit in COD, in Fortnite, controller players inevitably will be as good as mouse and keyboard players. Unless a game is specifically made for just mouse and keyboard players, controller players will get just as good. You see this in COD. Mouse and keyboard players in COD are crazy, but so are fucking controller players, dude. But what is better than mouse and keyboard and controller? Because you guys did hear me say that earlier. Keypads. Keypads, man. And I'm only gonna go over two keypads because I've already talked about them a thousand times in my videos before. The Azeron Gaming Keypad. You put your fingers in your gauntlet, you have all your fucking buttons right there at your fingertips, and you have a fucking Xbox 360 controller thumbstick, so you have 360 degree movement, all of your keys at your fingertips, and you aim with your mouse. So you have controller movement, mouse aim, and instant fucking access to everything. It is the most efficient way to play games, but if you want something a little different, the Razer Tartarus Pro. The Tartarus V2 I've heard has a really shitty D-pad, so don't, don't do that one. Here is the Razer Tartarus Pro. Underneath its analog stick, or whatever the fuck that is, uh, there's a D-pad, you bind WASD to that D-pad, and then you have all your movement on a thumbstick that's on a mushy little D-pad, so it feels like an actual thumbstick. But, like I said with the Azeron, it's an actual thumbstick with 360 degree movement, so... I'd get that one. If you want something that's a little more trustworthy, not from the EU, and is not $150 plus FedEx shipping, you can buy a Tartarus Pro for about $120 from Razer's website with a year warranty. There it is. There's your answer. What's better, mouse and keyboard or controller? Neither. Some games controllers are just better for, some games mouse and keyboards are better for, but in reality, when it comes to putting both inputs in one game, and then the developers continue to make optimizations for both inputs, they eventually become the same. But with that terrifying revelation that we are actually no longer that different from each other, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. If you didn't enjoy, I don't care. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.